everybody and welcome to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play Rad Racket Deluxe Tennis 2. I don't know if we played Deluxe Tennis yet or not. We played a tennis game but I don't remember if it was Deluxe Tennis. 1991 Idea Tech. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So let's uh, do one player John Macaroni, Mark Chang, Lisa Starr, Fred Hoot, Libra Garcia, Omar Strato. Let's go with John Tron up here. John Macaroni. Strawberry Field, <laughs> Sun Bowl State Court, or Connecticut. Double Mint Court. Let's just go with the Strawberry Field, San Jose, California. This is much different than the other tennis game that we played. Let's serve! I just hit the A button. I'm guessing that... A and B kind of mean to swing left and right, so let's go for... Ah, okay. It, it takes a little bit of getting used to as far as the timing is concerned. No, I moved up onto the field, didn't mean to. Alright. Alright, the timing... I still don't have the timing down. I find that that's often a concern for me in tennis games. Is once I get used to the timing... Yeah. There we go. Once I get used to the timing, I can kind of go into Pong mode with it. And then just hope that the ball ends up where I want it to be, because I'm not very good at aiming the ball either. And I know that you have to land the ball in just the right spot in tennis to score a point. Otherwise, you just turn it over. There we go. Sort of. It's like if I can get it to go to the far side after getting him to one side. That's kind of what you do in tennis, right? You hit it to the right, and they have to run all the way to the right to hit it back to you, and then you hit it all the way to the left. Let's try to catch him off guard. Outside? Uh, no, oh, I ran a little bit too far that time. If you've watched all my episodes so far, I say this in every single sports episode. <laughs> the ball just hit me. I'm not a big fan of sports in general. I'm also not a big fan of sports games. I always feel like, you know, if you're going to play sports, just go out there and play them, right? But if you can't, or if you're just a really big, um, really big fan of a certain sport, you might have the video game version of it, you know, like Madden for, for football. But I think it really took 3D to bring out the best in sports games, which it, it's not my opinion for every genre. I feel like a lot of games lost a lot of their luster when when companies tried to make a 3D version of them. And that they're, mu they're much more beautiful in 2D. But sports, I think, benefited greatly from, from 3D enhancements. Controllers with more buttons. <laughs> I'm not doing so hot. Ah... It's almost like I'm aiming too perfectly because I'm running into the ball with my body and not kind of picking a side of my body to hit with the racket. You have to kind of decide whether you want to hit with the left side or the right side of your body. Like You have to decide whether you want the racket to come out of the left side or the right side of your body. That's pretty much what you want to wait for. I think we want to try to outrun the ball and hit with the opposite side. That might give us a much better, like this. Is that gonna, uh, I keep hitting it outside. I don't really, I haven't really figured out a good way to control where the ball's going to bounce. Oh, come on. Come on. I think I mentioned in the earlier tennis episode that I don't really know a lot about tennis scoring. It's not too complicated though, but I, I think it just has a lot more to do with turnovers. There we go. What do I need to do to score? See, he doesn't run up on the field that often, but if I can get one over on him by being up in here. There we go. Oh, come on. He got it past me that time. Let me get this back to him. Oh, you're going to get served once it's my turn to serve you the ball. Yeah. 
you run more of a risk of running into the ball with your body, I guess, from that far away. There we go. Over there. Nope, over there. I did it again. It's very difficult to speed up the gameplay by running up close and yet not hit it with your body, I guess. Over there. Over there. Hmm. That didn't really work out for me. Teleport. Huzzah. On the plus side, the computer almost always serves it to you in a way that you can hit it from a standing position without having to run very far. I don't know if that's a rule in tennis or not, to have to serve directly towards the person. I mean, it's not like they're not going to be in a a place where they couldn't just run and hit it in the first place. But I do understand the, the you know, the tactical premise of, of tennis. You could rat. Oh, yuck, a rat? Is that, is that actually going to affect gameplay? Why is the rat on my side? Can I run on it? Can I step on it? I want to smush the rat. Can I hit with a ball, get bonus points? The referee doesn't like rats. Anyway, what I was saying was, uh, I understand the, the tactics in tennis, as far as trying to outsmart your opponent and get their body to be too far away to return a hit. You know, you want to serve to the opposite side. If you've tricked them into running far to one side, wear them out. Hey, I got a point that time. That's my karma, <laughs> and I miss immediately afterward. That's my karma reward. And I hit the wrong button that time. That point was my karma reward for understanding something about tennis and paying it some respect. I don't, you know... Oh, it's like in spike position there. Look at that. I don't dislike sports in general. I just don't particularly favor them or particularly, you know, get enthusiastic about sports in general. Big fun. Dudes with attitude. Oh, I got a little too close and the spike is just sort of a hit directly in front of you apparently. I wonder if I could just get up in there and do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I almost outrun the ball. I just want to pull off a spike even though it's hasty. Let's get up in there. Spike it. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. Let's try that again. I just want to do that now until the end of the review. Just get up in there and... Uh! Yeah, play aggressively, man. Try that again. Over and over again. No! <laughs> That's the downside of playing aggressively. Come on, hit it back. Hey. 15 love? I don't know. <laughs> I feel so unromantic when I play tennis because I don't know what love is. Ha ha ha! What is love? finish this set. Is that a set? No, I mean, I don't know. Is that a set until someone scores, or is the set the whole play? I don't know. I'm just running around the outside. I need to get in, get in here and actually cause some scoring to happen. Like, ah, uh, That. Get, ah, get that out of here. All right, well, that's Rad Racket Deluxe Tennis 2, everybody. Um... Overall, the music's all right. Pretty good tennis game. Pretty good back and forth. You know, multiplayer, I'm sure, is great. If it plays just like that did, I don't know how exactly it would feel to be on top, but I don't think it would be that much different. Um, if there is multiplayer, I think there was. I, I think there was an option for two players. But uh, the music's all right. Simulation's all right. Give it a shot. If you're a fan of sports games and tennis, this might be right down, right up your alley. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>